Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at the available options in the Edit Diva section. So we're going to dive straight in and we're going to use AJ as a template. So first off, you can change any of the personal details. So you can change AJ's name, abbreviated name, entrance name, social account, and you can also set a ring announcer name, although this will default to AJ if you set there's an alternate attire. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do. We kind of change the face and we kind of change the body. So those are set to what they are now. As for clothing options, there's a few options in here. So we're going to add a piercing, of which AJ already has one. So you can see there's a couple of different options in here. Now, there's not a lot of custom options. The majority of these are all made up of parts from the other divas in the game. So in outfits, we've got some Ray's dress from her entrance attire, when she's with Fandango. In Brazil, we'll have a couple of options made up of the Bellas and some Ray again. In tops, we've got AJ's top with no logo on there, so you can apply one of AJ's updated logos. We've got the Love Bites top. And another default top. In jackets, we'll have Tamina's jacket and a couple of suit jackets, including Lana's, as well as Natalia's entrance attire, which you can see with the exclamation mark there. Well, actually means is you can only use that in entrances, so you can actually use that in a match. Body accessories, we've got a couple in there. So these are Vicky Guerrero's parts in there as well, even though she isn't playable in the game, but she is available as a manager if you unlock her. Under arms, we'll have the likes of wristbands and things in there. So there's a couple there from AJ as well. In hands, the majority of these are just different nails. And you've got some gloves in there as well. And that is pretty much it. That's all the upper body. If we're going to trunks, we've got two options, slightly unlimited. And in wrestling tights, we've got the Bellas, Natalia, and Funkadactyls in there too. In bottoms, again, all from the Divas, so there's AJ's jeans in there, some are Ray, and a couple other ones. In belts, just the one option, unfortunately. Socks, again, just the one option there for AJ. And then a couple of boots in there with Summary, Natalia, AJ, and the rest of the Divas. And that is it, unfortunately. That is all that's in there. There is a couple of clothing templates, and it is just a couple. It's just the three. And then from there, you can also change personal information. So that's the crowd reaction, the brand, universe, weight class, hometown, abilities and skills. These actually set nothing when you go into edit the divas, so if you want to make them the same as AJ's, I think if you set as an alternate attire, we'll remember what they are. Otherwise, you'll have to give them yourself if it's a separate diva. Attribute 77, total hit points 4,000, so that's the same as it was last year, really. And then you've got the menu screen poses in there as well. So just run through these. and the crowd signs and that is it that's everything to create a diva there's not very many options in there as well but it is because there's no create diva but at least we can keep them updated the texture should really help as that is a really good feature i've been using it quite a lot today so i'll upload some updated divas when i can and hope you enjoyed the video catch you later